What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire to the world. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to just to remind <laughs> remind you guys, obviously following the safe apocalypse, I lost my Ottoman campaign save, but fortunately we were fairly early in, so I can I can get up to a similar position pretty quickly. And I've waited till now to get this campaign kicked off because I wanted to get my Italian States one um, up and rolling. And I've been having these weird recording problems where my computer would just the recording would just stop uh bandicam will freeze and i can start it again like that but the problem is is that it for whatever reason sometimes does it like every minute or so so i've done some tests and i've changed a few things and this could work now it seemed to have worked on my tests so let's find out so let's get back into the campaign so it's on hard hard and we're on world domination um so my strategy is going to be pretty similar to my last campaign we know what we've got coming really so let's get my ships into port weirdly there we go my sound stopped working again for whatever reason let's get these guys into port let's recruit a galley to help occupy that port there Obviously this port now, we know, is pretty important because it's my capital. Let's pull all these dudes out. Out of... She can, we can get rid of you. Disband that unit. Let's make sure we pull all our troops back towards Bulgaria so they can regroup around, around um, Istanbul. Let's check our trade. So you want to try trade with the Marathas. We want to try trade with Britain to make them a bit less likely to attack us. The French would also be good. What about Poland? Good. 13 colonies will probably do it. Yep. Prussia as well. No, I'm not giving you 5,400 in an alliance. Persia. Let's try and make Persia a bit less likely to attack us. Sad. But we know they're going to attack us. So let's trade with Louisiana. New Spain. Awesome. What about Savoy? Yes. Okay. I don't like, I don't like paying for trade, but... If you get these things in earlier rather than later... You can stack that um, trade bonus up. Um, okay, because we know we're going to be, we know we're going to be attacked by Persia. Let's move this army up into a position. Come on. Don't know where my sound is. Okay, so let's build a barracks and a cannon foundry here at Baghdad because they're going to be on the forefront. Let's take. Let's start building some schools of poetry to get town wealth growing, especially as they're quite cheap. Awesome, let's get my scholar into the school and get him to start researching physiocracy. Let's build a vineyard in Athens to use up our cash. Let's just pull you guys back to Bulgaria as well, I forgot about you. I mean, you guys, you can keep trying to convert these regions to give them, to give Russia and Prussia and all that lot some problems. Actually, I might even move you straight into Transylvania because I don't really care about this region. But if I can stir some problems behind their lines, that would be great. Okay, don't think that's pretty much this turn, although I'd probably like to build a, something to occupy. Basra. Okie dokie. Actually, I might move you all the way up to Yerevan, ready for the Georgians to attack us, and we'll start to expand the army down here. So let's see what happens, and more importantly, let's see if my rec recording goes funny. And it looks like Britain's on their way with an army already. Yep, sounds about right. 
go on Barbary States, try to take them out. Serbia, no, Austria wants to take all our stuff, so we'll refuse them. Austria's also declared on us, but that's okay. But they've not been joined by their allies. Let's start converting their population to try and get some of their provinces to rebel. I mean, I doubt the population bonus will help too much. Um, but it'll do. So let's start building a force in Egypt. That will be the main focus. Persia's declared on us as well. Good, just go along and raid rather than attack. That's perfect. The Mughal Empire is also starting to be a little bit of a scamp. But they are not our main concern. The main concern is this British army that's attacking us. And we also want to seem to defend from the west, from the north, and from the east. But fortunately, the good thing about the Ottomans is we have lots of uh, strategic depth, so we can afford to lose a fair amount of territories. George has declared on us as well. We've got our agent, which would be handy to, to kill. To kill another gentleman, really. Let's send our agent down to... Um, send them down to Persia. So let's get this port building up a ship. Just to hold... The sloop, just to hold the port. You guys start recruiting men you guys march up to Yerevan so I'm going to send up some troops from Ankara to support I also want to build a second school here so I can get more research on the go and I also want to probably boost this madrasa to a large madrasa Also, probably want to build some. Tr oh, actually, one thing I do want to do, one thing I didn't do last turn either, actually. Ministers, so you are good for the army. You are not really good for anything. You're pious, which isn't terrible. My visitor of the sea is. Plus four justice, but I don't really want to do anything with him. Plus one treasury, I'll take that. And at the very least, for this guy, all I need him to be is just better than a two star. Good. So immediately, our impact from government's going to go down from 26 to 4, which is going to turn a lot of regions into growth. like okay where am I I don't want to stop building the calligraphers I don't want to stop maybe I'll stop building this to build a provincial barracks in Cairo get some riskers of souls just start expanding that army these guys are warming up you guys want you to probably be more like here I don't necessarily want to hold on to Bulgaria good so we're starting to increase that religious unrest whether or not it'll actually matter I don't know it's got lots of wars pretty much all of Europe's at war the trade agreement with Britain we've lost Can't trade with Prussia. Persia we're at war with. Georgia we're at war with. Give Bosnia for Iceland. It's an interesting trade. And I might even do it. 
because I don't. I'm already want. <laughs> Bosnia's already lost for me. Let's do it. So this gives us <laughs> can give us a foothold to get our ships out to the Atlantic. It's pretty awesome, actually. Um, two turns to physiocracy. So let's hit end turn. Unfortunately, it looks like a pretty weak force. It looks like the one they start off with. So it's going to take them another turn to get here. I should really have tried to recruit some troops from um, Jerusalem. The Austrians are moving up. I mean, we could well lose Iceland. But at the very least, this way, it makes the the Austrians may have to declare war on Denmark, which might cause them a few political problems, if anything else. If nothing else. The Mughals are doing okay in India. The Portuguese are having their say. Well, Portugal's a campaign that really sucks because you've got Lisbon, which is under the heel of Spain immediately, and your only colonial holding is going to get stomped by one of two Indian factions. Hmm, let's watch all of Italy go to hell. Okay, they've gone. They've decided they want to raid us instead, so that might leave them open to a attack. So you're raiding our farms, that's okay. Well, I'm going to combine with this army at Yerevan. Ooh, no, 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 no. Demand your surrender. Withdraw. <laughs> that's a bad trade exchange, I know that. Build some Bashi Bazooks, because I'm, I'm going to end up needing to attack this army here. Okay, so down here in Egypt. Okay, let's do that. There's nothing really worth building. I can't, I don't really want to ship any troops over there immediately. Although I could ship you guys. Probably a good idea, to be honest. Get them embarked. I'll dump them out here, even though that will stop them from moving, but they can at least go form up. Get these ships, get this ship back to my port up here. Because anchor is not growing, but everywhere else is. Quite slow to grow. So let's get back to building these growth buildings because they're quite cheap. You're not really worth as much. Jerusalem, sorry. Let's build a. Uh, do I build a barracks in Damascus? I don't think I do. Could build another school of poetry here. And upgrade this farm. This is a reasonable army. I mean, I've got too many of these guys, which I want to actually disband. They'd start to build some artillery from Istanbul. But next time we'll get physiocracy. We're starting to convert our own population into towards Islam. Then we're going to take. Yeah, see, so they've dumped their army. They're probably going to raid. They can't. They haven't got the strength to attack Cairo directly. Yep, yeah. here come the Austrians. But that's okay. It's the Persians and the Georgians that are the problem. Last time we made peace with Persia, but I think I'd very much like to attack them and kill them. Take Isfahan. Poland's declared war on us to capture. 
um, our territory up to the northeast. Or to the north, really, not the northeast. But that's okay. Don't really want that territory either. Should really have tried to have given it away for someone. For something. Ooh. Trade Bulgaria for Ahmadnagar. Am I at war with the Mughals? I'm not. Do I want to get myself involved in India? Oh, Ahmadnagar is currently earning nothing. Interesting. If I wasn't at war with everyone, I think I would go for it. Could probably deal with doing, spending a bit of cash in Iceland as well. Maybe send some ships off to trade zones. But then again, I'm at war with Britain, so maybe getting into a navy fight might not be the best idea. Barbary State's fleet's getting chewed up. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to bother fixing it. I could try hold the bridge and slaughter them. Or at least hold the ford here. Then again, if they all if they all come at once, I can't stop them because I've not got advanced artillery and such. So no, it's probably a bad idea. Let's build some demi cannons, probably. Actually, eighteen pounders are more. I have more firepower. Camels take forever to get up here. Nine turns. Yep, so you're still raiding us. Okay, I think now I send this army to go and engage those guys there. My garrison here is looking starting to look pretty good. Well, fairly good. So you've got physiocracy. You keep working on empiricism. My school to be built next turn. Get these guys safely into Cairo. So now these guys can't really afford to attack them. If anything, they might may find themselves on the back foot. Well, they they will. I mean, once I've got. There we go. Once I've done that, I'll consider that to be pretty complete. Okie dokie. Let's do some cheap upgrades. Let's upgrade these fisheries. Let's produce more pop growth. I mean, places still aren't growing. I need to do some infrastructure spending, I think. I'm not going to build that. Bashi Bazook's a pretty beast. I think I have to take out this Georgian force here. Sadly, I won't be being joined by those supporting forces, but my Bashi Bazooks will tear through quite a lot of people. Actually, no, they've got pikes and cav. Have I got some cav? No, don't like those odds. Get back to Yerevan for now. Lots of school of poetry has been built. Our income's gone right down because we're at war with a lot of people. What if I did peace trade and I'll give you the region you're after? Awesome. Because I wasn't going to fight to defend it, I may as well give it to them. And it's got us some trade back. Okay, let's hop up to Iceland. Can't build anything here yet. Everyone's still sh everything's still shrinking. Let's see how far we if we've got any new good ministers. Hello. Plus one army, plus one happiness, plus one treasury. 
Okay, you need to change. You need to become our new treasury minister. Sorry, for old chap. Good. So the effect of government's going to shrink completely. You're going to keep going on with empiricism. Awesome. Let's hit end turn. The Brits are going to raid down the Nile Delta, but that's okay, because we've now got a reasonable little force there to take them out. <laughs> yep, let's just auto-resolve, see how many we can kill. 701, it's not bad. Gave him a bloody nose. They're going to go raid our farmland, but again, that's fine. They're only breaking their own. In the grand scheme, they're ruining their buildings. I'm not trying to hold on to them. Let's have a little drink. Here come the Persians. So my Baghdad, bar my Baghdad garrison needs to head north. And I need to keep recruiting them because I need to get support. That's where my concentration forces need to be. Yep, so they're dead. I mean, to be honest, I could just attack them now, but I want to go sort out here first. Push up. Find them. So who do I move? The Yerevan's currently producing nothing, so I can afford to give it up. If they want to take the bait. These guys want to combine forces. Baghdad can now start producing Israelis. Do you build an ordnance factory? No, I don't think I do. Instead, I actually go back and start building roads. Maybe... No, Istanbul's now growing. Let's keep our road building initiative going. We've got a new school which can work on square formation because that's more immediately useful. Okay, let's get. Yeah, we lost Serbia. Let's see if we can get peace and trade with them once more. Nope. So let's build some artillery. Actually, no, you've already you already have artillery. Let's cancel that artillery and instead get some cavalry and a risker of souls. Well, someone might send these guys to go attack John Churchill. Let's take him out because it's a good opportunity to take out quite an elite British general. Like John Churchill is a very good general, so to see the AI throw him away quite like this is, it's a bit dumb. Let's be, let's be honest, it's very dumb. So form a great musket line. Camel nomads on one flank. Keep our melee infantry on one flank. On the other flank, sorry. The fire at will button. Yeah, they're, they're not going to push up to me. Please commit your infantry. They're so delicious for my camels. So they have pikes, so I've got to be careful with them. But goddamn, our riskers of souls do not screw about. Melee attack 17. Compare that to Bashi Bazooks. They're no slouches. They've got much less defence, so they'll get shot to bits. But when they're in combat, they are in. Let's just speed up time. Send our cavalry into the omenry. They'll take a volley from my altar, from the third altar. But 
they will have a torrid time against my camels. Sorry, Yeomanry, you're done for. You guys keep running around them. The pikemen are coming out this flank, which is not ideal. Let me let's commit my melee troops into them. Fortunately, they're still in a fireball position or in a position where my guys can still shoot at their flank. So the Israelis just have to hold. My general's been killed, he's in this Israeli unit. So my aught is starting to. My troops are starting to rout for some reason. Are they being. They weren't being fired upon by those guys. I don't know why they were being... Why they were, being, why they were wavering. They should come back. Camels are out. Gone rescues of souls. Have at them if they want to chase you. Don't know why my guys are running away. Oh look, they keep my guys were going to run away. Didn't want them to charge those those muskets, but that's okay. Let's get my bashi bazooks in to not bash, yeah, get my bashi bazooks in to also chop up this unit of militia. my camels back out because those guys are going to waver to the pikes so let's take these guys and let's just position reposition the whole line let's charge my no don't okay Charge the melee infantry with those guys and those guys. Charge the general with the camels. Sacrifice this unit of Felain just to hold up the pikes. Turn fire will off for these guys. No, get my riskers of souls in against the cavalry. In, against the against the infantry because it looks like they want to try and be sneaky I ideally want to beat these guys in melee before the pikes can get here okay let's fire it well put a volley into those generals Okay, 
Okay, General's bodyguards routed. Hey, these guys have come back. These guys are supposedly winning. It's probably the low defense of my dudes. Camel's coming back. Draw these guys into my musket line. So that's the Bashi Bazooks are in. Musketeers should be also firing at their infantry unit. There we go. Massacre those pikemen. So you should be feeling very uncomfortable. Take out the muskets. You guys, you, you guys take out the pikes. These guys can just shoot at the musketeers. Oh man, I, I really want my good firing drills back. See, they can't hold out when they're being fired upon from all angles. Present fire. Yeah, I took them out. Speed up time. Absolutely continue. Go on, the camels to knock out the pikes quickly. Then go take out this regiment of foot. Or at least to try to. So we didn't manage to kill their general, but. We have managed to win. Go on, lads, chase them down. Kick the Brits back out of Egypt. And doing a great job of it, too. Six left. Two, one. Close. It was a bit dodgy when those pikes started to get on a roll. That was a concern, but it's, it's all about knowing when to cut your losses. So spend some cash on these guys to replenish as much as possible. Let's chase down the general. Apart from that, let's hit end turn. But also, there are more Brits on the way, so I need to keep growing my force down at Calais. Not Calais, Cairo. Yep, they're going to go take Bosnia. Which I am okay with. Military alliance. They demand improved grenades. They want to give us 600. I'll just I'll do the tech stuff. <laughs> They call me goat herds. Yep, they can have they could have this force here. Because it's allowing me to gather my strength. It looks like they want to send some raiding parties in, but this is why I'm still Is Morocco gonna come and attack me? Again. I remember well, I remember this happening last time and they didn't do it. So fingers crossed they don't do it now.
Awesome, awesome, awesome. George has returned back to their city. All the better to crush them beneath my heel. I'm destroyed. Yep, that was unfortunate. If you march up to here, you can combine forces. Put them under siege. Don't attack them, just put them under siege. So then this unit of militia intercept with my camels. Oh man! Come on camels, they were just militia. But it's not building any, any guns when I want infantry to help expand my base of power to fill up the gaps because this guy is going to raid his way around the territory. A taste for poaching. Preaching. Poaching. Okay. It's not impossible we can increase religious unrest enough to upset them. So let's send this guy on a mission to go and take him out. This army can reinforce and get back to Cairo. Cairo can build a barracks. Build a Bay's mansion. Actually, that might be a bit much to build there quite yet. I just want to build the Sultan's Observatory in Ankara. I probably want to build a Sultan's Observatory in Istanbul as well to keep my universities supplied with top quality researchers. So one turn to empiricism. So we lost Armenia temporarily. Lots of schools of poetry built, so our expansion. So we should be expanding like crazy. Let's build another local fishery and let's hit end turn. So I'm going to try and make peace with Austria after they take Bulgaria. Mainly because it's not really my, you know, I'm, I'm not really that bothered about holding Bulgaria. It's even better they put it under siege to buy us time. We could go and and relieve the siege, which really we might do, just because it gives us an opportunity to chop up a small part of their army in an in an engagement that's very favourable to us. So that's probably a good idea. Here come the Persian raiding forces. Yep, yeah, there they go. Don't do it, Morocco. I'm going to really hope they don't do it. I mean, if they do, it's not the end of the world. Once we gear up our economy, nothing will stop us. Okay, so we've got another spy. Oh, it's the one I sent. Didn't I send one to go and infiltrate? Persia must have died. Infiltrate. Bring these guys back. Let's rebuild the farm. So we're getting raided, but now even these guys should be enough to take out this small unit of raiders. For no casualties. We build the madrasa, we build this. Okay, let's build up. Let's check our infrastructure to make sure everyone's. Well, that we are building well enough. That we are actually upgrading it. Especially as the infrastructure provides quite a good general purpose boost to pretty much everything. Well, like in, term, in terms of your economy, it's pretty handy. 
I mean, that's not that's no navy. So if we had a proper navy, we could take it out. But these look like this is like a pretty poor army anyway. So okay, so you've got empiricism. Do you keep going with social contract? Probably. Do I not have any craft workshop? Why well, must I do? For a craft workshop, but I can't. Oh, do I need to research? Do I need to build? Oh yeah. The weaver's cottage and such. So you may as well keep going with empiricism for now, while this guy keeps researching square formation. You're still researching your army. I'm tempted to let them draw their reinforcements up here. Because we've got square formation, so if I hold out, they'll eventually have to attack me instead. So let's see what the Moroccans are doing. Oh, I meant to look at if I could break the siege of Bosnia. Curse is maybe this turn. The Persians are... Oh, the Prussians are sieging Warsaw. I mean, yes, I'll do that. They're offering an alliance to, and they're going to pay me for it. Besides which, they're already at war, so I don't really care. Then I suppose it's nice to have good relations with one. Indian faction at least because if I plan to advance into Persia then we're going to find ourselves needing allies especially the Mughals aren't necessarily doing a very good job But everything seems to be going to plan. My recording's not crapped out and stopped. Let's reinforce this chap. She might give him a proper general, so he can he can bring up reinforcements pretty organically. You know, not demi cannons. Get some. Just more infantry for now. Another camel unit, and then you can get. Oh no, I'm running. I'm spending all my, spending all my income money. No, you don't earn enough for a base palace to be useful. Although there's a lot to be said that I may as well just start upgrading things that I can afford. Actually, I might. At some point, I need to stop building, building um, troops to start upgrading my industry. Damatali, let's go take out Guido von Starhamburg because this region doesn't earn us a lot of money. But let's go take him out. Well, I say go take him out. I mean, <laughs> just water that. And then these guys can replenish instead. Awesome. I was thinking about fighting it, but it's actually a pretty small battle. <laughs> like the enemy force was a lot smaller than I thought it was. It looks like the Brits are trying to build up another army to send towards the Mediterranean. They're pulling back. So that's worked out well in the end. Just got me curious about the Moroccans though. Hey, the Prussians took Warsaw. <laughs> now I've got to see if they can hold it. 13 colonies navy is growing. So let's see if Persia, are they gathering all of their forces to come and attack me? To be honest, they can't wait too long. Or else they'll lose their territory 
Yep, so they're going to come and attack me, so I'm just going to sit in a nice defensive position and mow them down. Lots of camels and lots of other junk. This is why we've got melee infantry, but I don't think we've got square formation just yet. Um, but, you know, take what you can get. I've got enough infantry for it to be worth worthwhile. Ooh, defending the town? I don't think so. Although... It nullifies their mobility quite a lot. So I might deploy... Deploy some fella in here, just to form a barricade. Ah. Oh. Okay, good. My Bashi Bazooks can deploy. Pretty sure the enemy, the main army, is going to come from over here, actually, so I might do stuff like this. Deploy them ahead of our line. It's unfortunate for lean infantry, a standard can't actually deploy good defences. So Feline, yeah, Feline can't do anything, so you hold back for now. Semenes can. Serenes can't. I might deploy them there just to put a trench up. General's bodyguard cover. Actually, my Zooks, let's deploy another trench line here. So my Semenes can deploy on the flank. Let's bring my Bashi Bazooks back. You can defend that flank. Some Felain can sit over here to withstand this attack over on the right. Actually, my Israelis can take a position there. You guys may deploy even further out. This Bashi Bazook, you guys go right out here on the flank. Speed up time, because they got to come at us. Start knocking down some of these buildings if we need to. Just keep engaging with their, engaging their general. Let's bring my Semenes out. Snipe their general with a musket ball, and their main line of advance is coming in. So let's start. Something like so. So lots of camels coming in from the right. This is why we've got our fellow in. While we wait, I suppose it's not their general general. This uh, that what I just killed wasn't. It was their captain. Yep, yeah, you guys attacked me, so get ready. Cavalry's moving about on the right. I might move one of these bashy bazooks over here onto the right as well. It looks like they might come in to say hello. Ready to aim? Send them in just to attack. Prior to the battle lines being engaged. Oh. 
chances. They're winning slightly, but they are now falling very quickly. Again, we have it. So we've destroyed barricade. Charging in Feline to come and attack us. Counter charge with Bashi Bazooks. But they've broken, so pull back. These guys are down to a third of their number. Feline have lost very few men. Pouring fire into this big block of troops. Because their morale is apparently very poor. Come on. That's 24 camels left out of 120. This is winning decisively, so they must be doing a lot of damage to my fellow musketeers. Some more camel nomads looking to try it. These guys are engaged, be engaged by more muskets. Not doing a very good job at taking them, taking them out. Keep heading him. So charge the levy in. It looks like they're about to make contact. So they want to charge. Them. If they want to mass charge our lines, we can throw reinforcements in for days. So. Especially these are lot. Lots of these are actually pretty, pretty bad troops. There we go. They've been pushed back again, slicing up the armed populace. Send the Bashi Pazooks in just to make sure. The general may as well keep firing at the general's bodyguard in the distance. Maybe even the other Camel Nomad unit. Let's bring this Bashi Bazook unit back out. These guys continue to attack the Musketeers, and they've fallen back. As the cosmic balance, cosmic ballet goes on. Tribute Desert Warriors, we've just got more muskets than you do, so they're probably going to come back again. Especially once our fellow musketeers get in here, and start slicing down their cavalry. I leave. I actually learned it. He left. Oh, these are all fellow musketeers. Turn these guys off fire at will because they're making my guys very upset. Yeah, get these guys to blast. To blast the desert warriors with canister shot. Camels are doing very poorly indeed. I do have some regular fellow in here. Yeah. 
Yes, indeed. They're trying to route through you, just kill them. Keep the muskets over here. Let's get these chaps over here. In fact, you guys just get ready because these these camels might be coming your way. Move the feline ready in case they try and attack our can cannons. But they're going to be massacred by our spikes, both in both directions. Beautiful. Allegedly, the Firelock on Populous is winning this battle, so let's switch our guys towards cannons to round shot now I think is the time to start doing stuff like this so the old landing hits were near the Falcon populace enough to make them waver Better though if you focus on the Afghan Hillman. Charge you guys in my Feline. Push my Desert Warrior. Push my Feline over there. Well, my other Musketeer unit can join them. Firewall on. My raving lunatics with sharp pointy sticks are better than your raving lunatics with sharp pointy sticks. And you go aggressively push up our line. Because everyone is routing. Pound them with round shot. Hillman are out. So it's just this year, last unit of Felly. On my speed up time because it's just them. In which case, let's pull my men back and allow them to get shot to pieces. Kurdish hillmen. They're going to be quite aggressively put down. So many muskets, so little deaths. Let's end the battle there. It's not a close victory, not by a long chalk, but it's a nice, a nice win. We killed 1,200 of their men. Just goes to show how much, how many of them routed prior to actually being killed. But lots of these reinforcing armies are being pushed back. It also means the garrison at I can't even remember the region now is under. A large amount of strain. Let's see what Morocco elects to do. I think they've already been, actually. Good. So now we've got square formation. K 
okay and not it's not that you're unhappy you would just rather be happier so let's build a bay's mansion probably a one college we can afford you guys spend some money on keeping you guys up together you're in good shape bring up some more Sorelis and some Janissaries good so this army is feeling pretty stable if they try to push us this army will take Yerevan pretty quickly good stuff do whatever little re re reinforcement you can you guys want to plug bayonets Konya still getting on the social contract good stuff the Brits are still leaving the navy to hang around let's hit end turn oh. sounds dropped out again I honestly have no idea what causes it beyond beyond deleting everything and uninstalling it and reinstalling it and that's just a yeah it's a faff especially as it drops in and out for whatever reason so 13 colonies are proselytizing everywhere go on Persia what are you going to do now we've pushed you back once it looks like they want to gather their forces to try again as damaged as they were last time Hmm. Now the actual garrison is going to try Sally out. Um, but looking at the timer, I think I'm going to leave that to the next episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.